All right. Our first question is from C Greenwood 32. What are your thoughts on the raised heel squat for quad development? Oh, I love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. If you if you raise your heels by placing them on something like a, a block or you wear squat shoes or anything that raises the heel but is stable, it increases knee flexion and extension and reduces the activation at the hip. So it's more quad focused than it is glute or hamstring focused. And in an extreme case, you do something like a, a sissy squat where you're actually mm -hmm. pushing the hips forward as you're doing this. But it's a great way to hit the quads. Like try doing a front squat with your heels elevated. Well, that's how we used to do. I mean, before, I mean, you were really the person that introduced me to sissy squats. I didn't even know, you know, what those were. But that's how we used to really try to like get more activation of the quads was to get our heels up on these blocks and then do front squats, heavy loaded. Uh, and we do that, you know, in programming for football as well. Justin's like, I ain't doing anything that says sissy first. Yeah, yeah that's, for, that's for sissies. sissies. Yeah. 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 I'll put my heels on a block, but I ain't doing yeah. an extra. So it's called sissy yeah, anything. Yeah, that's right. I need masculine <laughs> squats. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, I think you it's just. Great. I think it's. Uh, I, I what's happened is uh, squat shoes have become trendy, and so you see a lot of people wearing them to squat, thinking that that's the way you're supposed to squat. At least that's what I see in the gym. Like I see a lot of people that they're not wearing squat shoes because they're like, I'm trying to target yeah. my quads. They're like, this is what. They we saw do. Olympic lifters using them. They thought it was cool, and they brought it right. in and just but squatted so, with them. To be fair, though, right, squat shoes will raise the heel, but it's not going to raise the heel as much as you would if you really – like if you're doing a goblet squat with yeah. your heels elevated, you're going to elevate your heels more than you'll get in a, in a with yeah, squat Yeah, you'll shoes. raise them higher. That's sure. just like trying to, to compensate for the lack there. of uh, ankle mobility. Yeah, that's a little more. And you are getting more quad activation. But when you're elevating your heels, you want them elevated a little more when you're doing like a, a heel out of elevated goblet squat or a front squat with your heels elevated. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's great. I think, you know, the, the quad targeting exercise that used to be super popular was a leg extension. There's a little bit of value to a leg extension, but it's not, it pales in comparison to doing some of these other exercises. Oh, especially where, that a sissy squat or like a goblet squat with heels elevated. You're going to get a, a much better quad pump than yeah. you will. from Especially leg if you understand how to focus on the quads on the descent and at the top and really squeeze the quads. Like if you do a goblet squat with your heels elevated, with your feet relatively close together, and you really focus on the descent and feeling your quads, and then you come up and squeeze the, the quads hard at the top, mm -hmm. it, it fire. Maintain it, tension the whole time. Yeah, it'll... You'll get a crazy, crazy Not to mention pump. it's, it's again, it's, it's more functional than something like a leg extension. You know, and I know some people hate to hear that, like, oh, the functional word. There's the yeah. functional word on everything. It's like, you're more likely to be on a hill and have to squat down in the squatted position than you are to be in a seated position and never have to kick your leg out. Right. I mean, it's that simple. So mm -hmm. getting strong in that position is not only probably better for quad development, but also just overall movement and in just real life that there may come a time when I'm picking my toddler up and I'm on a hill mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have the ability to do that with good strength and good control, you know? All right, if you enjoyed that clip, but you might want a little more visual aid to go with that, go to Mind Pump TV and subscribe. 